This is the grade four math practice test for TN Ready. On this version of the test, this is question 15. It's a calculator allowed section, but we're not really going to use it. Which comparison is true? So we need to figure out relationships between greater than and less than, which are inequalities, or an equation, which is an equality. The easiest way to do this is to line things up vertically and then just make a comparison statement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up each one and I'm going to circle the one that's bigger. That gives me some visual cue to tell. You may be able to tell immediately which one's true. But I'm going to line them up appropriately with my decimal points vertically on top of each other. And then I'm going to compare them. Uh, and if you remember one of the other videos I talked about scale, well, you want to compare things in that way as well. So we're going to start with the largest of the place values. So in this case, it's tens. Um, these are the same, so that's fine. These are the same, that's fine. And for this one, here's my bigger one. So this is the larger of the two numbers, so I need to make a statement about that. Uh, then 0 0.62 over 6.10, so this one's easy. Here it is, that's the bigger one. There's plenty of ways to do this, this is just one way. 1.32, 1.29, those are the same, aha, there's my bigger one, so that's the bigger one. And then finally 4.14 and 4.41, because I'm just showing those evenly. Um, these are the same, in this case this is the bigger one, so that. Now, I know what the relationships are, now I need to determine which statement is actually true. Now, the thing about the inequality greater than, less than, is it's not necessarily that one of them is less than per se, or one of them is greater than. It just depends on how you read the question. All you have to know is that the bigger end needs to go in the larger size. So it's almost like saying, here's a small number, and it's increasing in size to become big. So the big number should go towards this end, and then the smaller number should go here. So right now, this says that this small number is less than this big number. But if I read it from the other direction, which math allows, it says this big number is greater than this small number. So you're saying the same thing, you just have to make sure that you are accurate. Let's start here at the bottom. This says that these two values are equal. Well, we know that one is greater, so that's obviously not true. For R, it says that this, we've identified this as the bigger number, 1.32, but the story being told here is that 1.29 is on the big end of the inequality. So it says 1.32 is smaller than, because it's a small end, uh, 1.29. It also says 1.29 is bigger than 1.32, but we tested that earlier and know that's not true, so that's out. For P, it's telling us right now that 0.62, so 62 hundredths, is somehow greater than 6 and one-tenth. Well, obviously that's not true. It also is saying, incidentally, that six and one-tenth is less than 62 hundredths, which no. So our last answer, or our first answer choice, really, is this one. It tells the correct story. 16.2 is next to the bigger end, so it's telling us 16.2 is greater than 16.02, which is true. So 16 and two-tenths is greater than 16 and two-hundredths. That's true. It also tells us that 16 and 2 hundredths is less than, because it's next to the small end, 16.2, which is true. So our answer to number 15 is M. So my suggestion when you have these is just to go ahead and compare them vertically, circle the bigger one, and then go back to see which of the stories is the correct story or which is a true story. These weren't true. It said the greater one was smaller, and then this one said these two are the same, and they are not. But lining them up vertically makes it really easy to tell those things so you don't make any careless mistakes on a question that should be pretty easy to get correct.